Good morning, guys. It's Pam here with Holidays and Celebrations. Guys, I am down here at uh, the shop, and I wanted to show you the project that I've been working on this week. Each year, we usually always try and come up with a new deer, or we will change up uh, an old pattern that we have and make it a new pattern. And this is the one right here that I've been working on this week. I just finished getting it all painted and sealed, and I've got the baby good to go. So I thought that I would uh, pop the video out and introduce you guys to our little deer. Now these deer are for the inside of the house. We do make them normally for the outside of the house. But this one is made, this is about hmm, maybe three and a half feet tall, I'm gonna guess. But uh, we made this one to be extremely sturdy. And we had in mind for uh, uh, you to be able to like put it on a fireplace um, hearth to decorate a fireplace. Now I'm gonna get a little bit of a close up on it here so you can see how I did it and maybe you can get some ideas of your own in case you uh, woodwork crafters are interested in coming up with a, a design of your own. This is the way I did mine. I painted it like this. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to whirl it around on the back and let you see how we did the back. Now, it definitely is 100% wood, and you can see the thickness of the wood right here. Um, now, we made it extremely strong because we wanted this to be able to be a keepsake for anybody who wanted it. And you can see how thick we made it, made it, and how thick think we made the bottom because we wanted it to be able to stand really good okay now I'll swing it back around here now what we did with this one each of them are slightly different because uh well I'll be honest with you I have a hard time painting the same thing identical so each of them are going to be just slightly different okay now you, you'll notice right here that um I don't always add real material to it. If it's outside, I don't. But since this is inside, I thought it would be cute to get a real scarf and put the little guy a real scarf around his neck. So that's what I did with these. Um, they're gonna be really good keepsakes for year to year to year to year. Now with these, I also made these sweet little heart signs that say, I love you Santa. Santa. Now these always sell good, um, and I love making any kind of a heart sign, but uh, I made these that's gonna go with the deer. Whoever buys it is gonna get the sign as well, but I do make them and sell them separately. But this one I did with the cute little googly eyes on the deer's face on the sign, and then this one I just painted the eyes on this one. But uh, I am going to be selling those separate, but I am going to let one of these little signs go with the deer, whoever buys the deer here. But guys, we are making these because we're putting them at a, a cousin's Christmas tree farm that we usually put the Christ, Christmas items in each year. And this is going to be one of the items that's going to be sold at the Christmas tree farm. Okay. Okay, guys, I just wanted to share with you and let you see what we've been working on this week. Let you get some ideas on something that you might want to create at home. And again, this one's about three and a half feet tall, and it is cute as a button. <laughs> okay, guys. Next time I make something, I'll share it with you. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas.